Hi guys, it's Shippes here and this is this week's cruise news. The first bit of news I've got for you guys this week is that MSC's brand new ship, MSC Seascape, is having propulsion problems. It was going on like a... It was, this is really annoying for the cruise line because it's a brand new ship, but it was leaving Cosmo, Mexico and it started having these problems when it first appeared and they arrived four and a half hours late in their next stop, Grand Cayman. And then they cancelled, they were going to dock in Jamaica the next day, but they've cancelled that and they're on their way to Ocean K in, well, MSC's private island. So it's really annoying for MSC, especially this is their brand new ship, for it to already have propulsion problems. Something to do with the software, they got specialists on board already, uh, but it doesn't seem to have fixed it yet. But hopefully they can get that issue sorted and not have to cancel many more uh, ports of call. Carnival brands are going to be installing Starlink on all their cruise brands. So that's going to be Carnival, Piano, Cunard. It's going to go across a lot of them. Princess as well. So they're going to be getting really high speed internet. Royal Caribbean Group has already got Starlink and has implemented it on some of their ships. But yeah, Carnival has also going to install it. So it's all going to be... So when back in the day, when it was like boom, Royal Caribbean was going to be like the fastest internet at sea. I don't know if there's different grades of Starlink. Obviously, I know Royal Caribbean kind of are going to sell different grades of Starlink, but like they're going, oh, this is the fast internet scene, and like someone else will come and say, this is the fast internet scene. So now everyone's going to have the Starlink, and it's all going to be the same. So, it, well, that's pretty good for because I, oh, I got one more shit. Virgin, terrible Wi-Fi, well, especially in Europe. When you get to America, apparently their satellite works better in America. Uh, the, the internet was terrible for such a brand new cruise line. That is. Um, for a younger demographic, internet was terrible. Internet was really good on Royal Caribbean, it wasn't the Starlink, but it was just good. But yeah, so hopefully the Starlink is going on all the brands and it will improve the Wi Fi across the board and be all the same. So it, that, that is going to be really good. This week I have nothing to show for my cruise ship memory, that I've showed so much of it. But this week I have a fun announcement. I have booked for next year, this is 2024, May, the Celebrity Apex. Now, Celebrity are bringing their brand new ship to, well, not really brand new, but new class of ship to Southampton. They're replacing the uh, Celebrity Silhouette. I'm very excited for this class of ship. I've always been, like, not a, I wouldn't say admirer, but I've always been fascinated with the Edge class ships. When the Celebrity Edge first came out and they announced it, I saw, like, the magic carpet and stuff. I was really, I really wanted to try it. Probably when it came out, it wasn't really my sort of thing, but now I'm, I am a bit older. Um, maybe it might be a bit... Uh, more what I'll maybe be looking for. I know it's got all the slides and stuff, but in the same year, you can have a chill holiday on Apex. We're going to Norway, we're going to places like Flam, Geringer, we're going to some other places that I haven't really been before in Norway, so that's really exciting for me. And But then I'm going on Icon, which is like the different end of the spectrum, uh, with all the bells and whistles of water slides and stuff. So I, I'm really looking forward to the Apex, and I'm really fascinated to see what well, it is because I've had great re re reviews about it and I, so like I said I've been a really admirer of it. I was actually booked on this maiden voyage when it was going to go from Southampton originally but due to Covid that was cancelled. Um, so to get back on this, this ship especially before it's coming to Southampton is I'm very very excited and it's an eight night uh, cruise 15th of May and yeah, it's, it's, it, I'm really excited just to see this new class of ship. I always like a new class of ship. That's why I, I, I was intrigued about the P&I owner to see what they did differently. And I thought they did, it was an upgrade to p and Britannia. I'm, I'm obviously looking forward to Icon. If you follow the channel for a while, you know I'm very excited for that. But I'm really intrigued about this Celebrity Apex, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I can't wait to bring you guys reviews, ship tours, room tours, all all the usual stuff plus more and maybe some stuff from Norway as well because it's a really cool place to go so stay tuned for that and yeah I'm really excited about that cruise Norwegian Cruise Line cancels a month of sailings on Norwegian Joy due to it going into dry dock in early 2024 it has cancelled a month of sailings which we've seen this quite a bit recently because Carnival did the same thing with a few of their ships cancelling sailings well to be fair this gives people a lot more notice where Carnival literally cancelled it and the dry docks are happening right now. So uh, fair play to Norwegian for uh, giving the guests enough notice to make different plans 
But again, it's really annoying that they don't just plan these dry docks in advance. Because it's just people booked, people save for these holidays for years, and then they just go and cancel it because it has to go into dry dock when they could plan these dry docks and then release that anyway. I don't know if it's. I know obviously there's emergency dry docks and maybe like uh, Seascape might need to go into dry dock when it's propulsion, but it's like. I think the crew lines could do a bit better if it's just a standard upgrade. Because, like, Independence is in for War Caribbean. They didn't cancel any sailings to it because they just pre planned that. So, it, it, I think it's a bit poor from Norwegian, but I'm glad they gave bigger notice than what Carnival did a few weeks ago. So, yeah, a, can a month worth of cancels on Norwegian Joy. And the last bit of news I got with you guys is come from Carnival. And the Carnival Sunshine. Now, I want some of you guys' opinions on this because I think it's kind of an interesting story. So if you guys are aware of the rule that no ship can go from America to America and they get a fine, I don't know how much it is, but they do get a fine, they, or they can't schedule it. But this cruise, it went from South Carolina with uh, one stop in Nassau, but it couldn't actually get to Nassau due to weather, so it just went back around and went to South Carolina. Now, will Carnival be fined for that? Because technically, yes, it was scheduled to go somewhere, but due to stuff out of their, 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 what is it, control, they can actually go back to the, they can go to the port, but then have to go straight back to America. So, are they going to be fined, and, because it is breaking the law in America, or if it's, because I know America has different states, so I don't know if it might be just the Florida state, or it might just be other states, but I, I'm not 100% sure of the law, but I know there is a law in America where you can't go from America to America. But then, does it count if it's out of your control with weather? So this is what I'm interested in. I'll put in the comments below, do you think Carnival are going to be fined for this cruise because of the America to America? I oh, will be very intrigued. But yeah, they basically, they couldn't get into Nassau because the winds were just going to be too high for when they were leaving. They were like 40 to 50 miles per hour when they were supposed to be leaving. So the ship wouldn't have gone anywhere, even if they did dock. Uh, the, everyone on board got um, offered a 50% refund of, of the cruise fare plus any excursions they had. So the, the guests have been compensated, but I'm just really interested to see if Carnival are going to be fined. <clears throat> I, I know there's no way of finding out whatever happens, but I just think it's an interesting story because of technically it was out of their control, but yeah, interesting. Put in the comments below what you guys that is all the news I got for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's very much appreciated and it really does help me out. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. So the link will be in the description below to go and follow me on those platforms. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Shipface here and I will see you guys in the next video.